Hey guys, how's it going? It's Hyde here, and we're back with a brand new first look to the channel. It's not entirely your first look, because we've played this game before, but it was old, outdated. This is a new version of the same game, so you guys might recall this game being called Combine and Conquer previously on my channel, but it is now called Factor Y, and there has been a pile of updates since we last played it but I still have to relearn everything. So, it is a minimalistic factory building game where you have to take over the universe. Check it out. Oh my God. There's so many places to go. It's like Kerbal Space Program meets Factorio. How cool is that? Okay, so let's see. Tutorial, place the starter. Now, if I recall, we need to go somewhere we're gonna have access to all the good stuff. We got copper, we got stone, we got coal, we got iron. This seems like a not bad spot. Maybe we'll find a better spot. I'd like even more iron if I could find that. Hmm. Maybe this spot? We got quite a bit of iron over here. It's not the worst. Let's do it. So how do we do this? Place the starter. How do I do that? What is the starter? Where is the starter? Is this it? Starter. Okay, we're gonna put this down. Now, I seem to recall this thing having to be close to resources because you have to like expand your borders that you can build in. So we gotta keep it near the iron. Mm -mm -mm. I also want copper. I also want coal. I also want stone. What if we do something like that? Uh, action only allowed when focusing planet and zoomed in far. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Um something like this. I'd like to get as many resources in here as I can. Something like that. Looks pretty good. Okay, place two miners, coal and iron. Wait, did I not put any coal? Oh, there's coal. Oh, is it not in range? <gasps> I maybe made a mistake. Oh God, I hope it's in range. Ooh, it's gonna be close, okay. Miner, oh, we got some. Is this, is this a miner? What is this? Miner mark one, okay, we want this. This is good, we want those. One there and one on iron. Perfect. You can move items in between structures. Place two of them, each pointing away from one of the miners. Okay. We want this like so and like so. Okay. Place 10 belts, moving five coal and five iron. Now, I'm going to need to start building a factory somewhere, and this space right up here looks like as good of a spot as I'm going to find. Why can't I build things? Here we go. So let's run this like so. And I guess I'll... Whoopsie daisy. How do I delete things again? I forget. Right click is to copy. What if I... There we go. You just hold delete. Okay, I like that. Um, place 10 belts to move coal and iron. Move at least five coal and five iron this way. Okay, we should be getting there soon ish. Soon ish. I think, I think we're going to be there right away. Place a furnace somewhere near iron and coal. You'll be able to feed both. Does this cost resources? uh energy minus one. Oh, that's right we have energy oh i forgot about all that okay okay let's see here furnace put this down how am i gonna get stuff out of here uh this is not going to go very well right now you know what we're gonna do we are going to delete all of this. Why is it not letting me delete this? No, no, no. Delete. There we go. I'm going to delete all of this. It's going to take less power now. I hope. Huh? 
delete there we go okay uh actually hang on i need to delete this one too because we're gonna need a picker like so okay we're gonna do this and then the same thing i'm just gonna extend this up and i guess we're just gonna have one belt of iron for now until i can figure out where to get splitters from okay something like that so now we should be making ourselves some iron ingots use belt and to feed coal and iron into the furnace then use an arm and belt to move at least 10 produced iron plates out of it seems easy enough we'll just do this for now because we can why not and i don't know what the ratios are toggle on off clear it seems like as fast as we're able to mine it is smelting does it tell me on here what the ratios are smelts ore and plates using fuel smelt iron ore total smelting time three seconds 200 milliseconds 3.2 seconds then and yeah that's it it doesn't really tell me i seem to recall there being like a recipe thing but I, I'm not seeing it right now. Place an assembler near the produced iron plates since you'll need them for the items you're about to craft. Now, do these things have a quantity in them that we're mining? I don't think so, which is good. So I think they're infinite. Now we need an assembler, which is this guy. And I guess we'll just stick it here for now. We'll get another one of these bad boys. Okay, put that in there. And can I change this to stuff? What does this do? Click the assembler you place its configuration dialog and set its recipe to gear. I don't see gear. Process? Oh! Gear, okay. Not bad. Use arms and belts to feed iron plates into it. Also use arms and belts to grab, produce gears, make five gears this way. Well, that sounds simple enough. Let's just go this way for now. I don't know what I'm doing, but that should work, right? Two iron ingots makes one gear. And... Enabled influence present. Energy minus five, speed one. Oh, it says one iron plate makes one gear. So this just... I must have two in there. It maybe can store twice as much. Place another assembler such that it is close to the produce gears and iron plates. Okie dokie. So we want one of those. We want one of these. And we want one of these. Okay, and what am I trying to make with this thing? Produce belts. There we go. One iron plate and one gear. Okay. And then I forget how we put stuff into storage. Produce five belts this way. I think I'm going to have to take those out of there. Maybe not. It's going up. Okay, maybe it's not going up anymore. So we are going to have to pull them out. Something like this. And I'll just do that for now. Okay, we're making belts. Now, there was some kind of thing that used to let us store items. Probably not special, right? Chest? Maybe it is chest. Put these in here. Place a provider near to where you produce the belt since you'll need them in the next step. Place a provider. Structure placed... Oh, where did it go? Structure placed into it can be placed on the planet you can set its limit rejecting structures once limit is reached oh okay okay so we don't need this belt i think is what it's telling me no 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 no, no. why can't i delete this oh there we go so we put this right there now the number of belts that i have should be going up right what do we got 42 available i see i see now how do i set the number set the limit to be what do we want the limit to be like uh 50 50 100 her boy the heck her boy why does it say that 
Omadas in bot. They all have names? Every single thing gets a name? Yoon Pamansen? No way. It randomly generates names for all the belts as well? Waystrix Titty? <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm not questioning it. Use belts and arms to place the produced belts into the provider. We're working on that. Any structure placed into the provider becomes part of your planet's inventory for future placement. Note that you can set a limit to provider to avoid producing a structure too many times. We've done that already. Yeah, we've, we've done that already, right? I think so. So we're good. How many do I have? 50. We got 50 available. Oh, have 80 belts in the planet's inventory. Okay, so this is doing what I want it to. Unfortunately, that's not enough. So we got to set that up to 80 and we got to let that do its thing for a little while. Maybe we can get a few extra miners set up just for fun. Uh, same thing down here. It's probably not the best idea to do what I'm doing. You know what? Let's delete this. Delete that. I'll copy this. And then we can... Get a few more of these guys set up, I think. There we go. That'll work for now. I won't be able to smelt all this at this point in time. This thing can only smelt what it can smelt, but it's a start. Now I wanna, I was hoping to be able to find the recipe for stuff in here, but it doesn't look like it's showing it when you hover over these things so i think the only way to check recipes is to check it in here iron plate iron gear uh gears and stone bricks we're probably gonna have to start making energy at some point we're using up half of our energy already which is not the greatest but i guess once these things shut off, maybe they stop using energy as well. Mm, I can't tell if it's getting reduced or not. Minute per two seconds, two seconds per tick. I don't know what the heck it is I'm looking at right here. Hour per minute, all per hour. I have no idea how to read this. But it's not important because right now we still have half of our energy left. So I'm not too worried about it. We'll have to figure it out later. How many belts do I have? We gotta be getting close. 63 available. Okay, well, we got a little bit more work to do yet. We could probably start getting some extra furnaces going. Like if I run this over here. I think this is not the worst idea, although I am going to need to leave room, so maybe that would be a bad idea. So we're going to have to do something like this. We'll move that over. And then if I was to say delete this, do this, we can copy these. I'm using up belts that I don't have right now, but that's okay. There we go. So now we're going to be making a little bit of extra power. I don't know if this number is going to go up or down. Okay. So as you make power, the red bar gets smaller, which means this is the available energy that we have. Good to know. I did use up a few more belts, so all I'm doing is hindering my progress, but it's okay. We'll wait for it. I just realized there was a spot up here that had all this iron and all this coal right side by side. I kind of picked a bad spot here, maybe. But it is what it is. As we expand, I might be able to get up in there. That's not going to be bad. We've also got a ton of resources over here. This is not looking so bad. We got stone. Yeah, we got so much stuff. This is not bad. We just have to figure out how to expand our boundaries at some point. Influence spreads energy for operating other structures. This is probably the thing that we need. It sure looks like it is. But we don't want that right now. Let's wait. So guys, don't forget to check this game out on Steam. It is available there. It may still be available on itch.io as well. I, I don't know for sure, but there's also a free demo available on Steam, which is essentially the full game. You just can't load your save. So you can play it as long as you don't shut it off and have to reload. You can play for as long as you want. I think 
so go ahead check out the demo if you want to give it a go go ahead give it a wish list on steam it's also not very expensive so if it looks like you might get some fun out of it go ahead pick it up why not am i right so have 35 arms in your planet's inventory okay let's check out what the arm recipe is hopefully it's just plates and gears it is okay so all i gotta do is change this to be arms and it should work now there used to be a spot to do research planner modules world um production and placement stats that's gonna be cool uh render settings can we change some of this stuff what is all this progress influence range oh i like that minor area oh i didn't realize they had a aoe around them okay that's good to know module internals stats overlay okay what is this toggle full screen nah tutorial nah i don't know where the research oh you know what we probably have to build a research station a lab one available let's plunk this thing down uh where do i want to put it i don't know let's just put it there what does this do i don't know what else do we have provider chest influence mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. speeds up research by consuming research tokens okay that's not what we're looking for right now how do I get to the research? Space, energy, modules, materials, processing. I don't know, maybe I just gotta get farther in the tutorial. How are we at for inserters? Nine? Nine available out of 35? Oh boy. Oh, this thing's not working because there's a stupid, uh, there's a stupid little thingy in there. How do I turn that off? There we go. Okay. Now it's back running again. There was a stupid little conveyor belt in there and it was jamming up. Very good. We're back to pumping out resources. I don't see a good way to get more ingots being made faster. The only thing I could see is like bringing this over here. Uh, somewhere over here. None of this is great. I don't have any splitters yet, so that's not great. Oh man, the only way this is going to work is I'm going to have to take this stupid thing. This is awful, by the way. I'm going to have to destroy all this at some point. But just to get this going a little bit faster for us, dang it. Okay, I don't necessarily recommend doing this for yourselves, but it's as good as I can do for now. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to copy these guys, put one there, put one there, put one there, and that should just be working eventually. Okay, I would have liked to have this farther back so that this guy could reach, but... You know what? Maybe it's fine because I can just delete this and this one will feed that side. This one will feed that side. I think that is not bad. Is this going to work though? Perfect. Okay. That looks like it's going to be fine. So that should double the speed we are making inserting arms, which is perfect. That's what we wanted to see. It's not pretty, but it's functional and that's all we care about here. All right, almost there. We just need two more. There's one, one more, and we are good to go. I'm going to let this continue to make them for a while. There's no reason to shut it off. There we go. Okay, we got the 35 arms. Place an influence structure. Place an influence structure to extend the influence range in which your structures have access to power. Note that starter already has a very large influence range. Understood. Let's extend upwards because this stuff up here, I think is going to be pretty useful for us. 
something like this and maybe i'll even do something like this as well okay make 10 rt with the help of an assembler produce 10 research tokens uh research token one gear one iron plate everything takes the same stuff so you'll love to see that makes it nice and easy to get things going for ourselves okay we're gonna start making research tokens why is that not going in there maybe it can't so that's not great let's move this do i need to put a thingamabob down i think i need to put a thingamabob down it's not gonna fit is it okay hang on let's make a little bit more room and we'll try it again something like that Put this down there we go we got some research tokens with the help of an assembler produce 10 research tokens that is what i am currently working on they are not going in though not what i wanted why won't they go in here okay maybe we need to put them in a storage this sucks let's delete this whole belt here and move it over a little bit like this and then i can copy this we can put it there and i can put a chest where did the chest go what did i just do okay hit the wrong button we need a chest put this in there okay and then i guess i should probably move this over to here because then i'll be able to put this here not bad okay make 10 tokens so we're working on it we should be getting close Research the crossing technology. Hey, was this here before? Am I blind? I must be blind. The crossing technology. Yes, sir. That's the good stuff. That's what we want. For this, select in the research view and make sure to feed the RT into you. Uh, you're producing with arms into the lab. Note that you can speed up research by using multiple labs, but you have to make them first. Okay, well, that should just work. Where does it keep track of how fast this is working? Oh, right there. A little equals buttons at the bottom there. 67%. That's not of total, is it? Oh my god, we gotta do a hundred of them. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta wait for that because I can't really upgrade this anymore until we get crossing belts. So that's just gonna have to wait for a bit. Okay, so we've got 29 research stored up. I think we can probably... Uh, I think we could probably move this over one, delete this, put one of these guys down. Is this the right way? I think so. And then I should be able to put this back to like belts or something for a little while. And then I'm hoping this won't accept anything but belts. We'll have to see what happens there. This thing is so full of stuff. How do I change this to belts? Oh, there we go. Okay, belts. There. So now I'm hoping this thing won't accept anything else. And we can start to... It is accepting stuff that is not what I wanted it to do. Uh, can I turn this thing off? Oh, I should have done that sooner. How do I like access the inventory? Dang it. I can't delete the belts without deleting everything. In here I can clear everything, but I don't want to clear everything. So I have to wait until the research is done and then I have to clear the rest of it. So it's kind of just is what it is for now. But that is going to keep us going. Where are we at? 13 out of 100. We got a ways to go yet. All right, guys. So I'm just going to say it. This first technology is way too hard. It takes 16 seconds per research and you need a hundred of them. And that's when it's working at 100% efficiency. But 16 times 100 divided by 60, that is a half of an hour. There's a half of an hour I have to sit here and wait for this. 
And I know I could make more of these things, but it's kind of pointless without belt crossing, right? I mean, I can only upgrade so far without a belt crosser. Or it's going to start making a huge mess of stuff. I'm, I'm already dealing with a massive mess as it is. I don't even know where I would put another factory at this point. And to make one, let's see what I even need to make one. How hard is it to make another one of these things? Chips and wire. Yeah, that's that's insane. That is way too hard. This doesn't need to be this hard. It's it's the first research in the entire game. Why does it take a half an hour to get it? That is crazy. Anyway, I guess we're just going to have to AFK for this because I really don't want to have to make a huge spaghetti and then unlock crossing wires and then have to redo it all over again. So I'm just going to uh, alt tab for a bit. Maybe go grab a coffee and uh, we'll see what we can do here. All right, one half of an hour later, we've got ourselves some crossing belts. Create a module that produces belts. I think that is what we're going to have to do in the next episode. Yeah, we're going to play with modules in the next one. I remember that being a little bit complicated. Hopefully it's been fixed up a little bit with all the updates, but I guess we'll find out. Guys, I hope you are loving this series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.